How's it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm gonna give you the proof that charging your Apple devices past 80% is really bad. So, as you can see, in front of me I have an Apple Watch Ultra, and you'll understand why in a second. So, to prove it to you once and for all, I'm gonna talk about a new feature that's specific to the Apple Watch Ultra called Optimize Charge Limit. That's right, so we have optimized battery charging, that's one thing, but now we have optimized charge limit. And here how it works. So as you can see, I'm gonna get my Apple Watch and I'm gonna put it to the charger, okay, as you can see, and it's gonna give the animation, but it's cut, it's opened, as you can see right here. And there's a little message. So let's read this message because this is the biggest, most important thing, okay? So as you can see, an open charging ring means Apple Watch will now charge to an optimized limit to help extend battery lifespan. And this limit is of course, and if I unplug it, you can see it's naturally 80%. And this is very easy to see because now with the optimized charge limit, you can put your Apple Watch on the charger and leave it for days and it won't go past 80%. That's why you saw that animation cut because it'll stop at 80%. And I've done this test, actually, uh, I've put my Apple Watch on the charger for over 48 hours and it just won't charge past that. Because as I said, even though it's related to the optimized battery charging, the optimized charge limit will never let the battery go over 80% it won't charge the remaining 20% uh, when you're about to wake up. No, 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 it'll just stay at 80%. So this new feature is just like everything we've ever asked by Apple, it's finally here and it proves that charging past 80% is bad. And the proof is very simple. This feature is enabled automatically. You don't even have to do anything. As soon as you get your Apple Watch and start charging it normally, it'll just enable this feature automatically and then it'll never go past 80% automatically. So this will be here forever. And this is the new standard in the industry. So not only Apple is doing this, Samsung, everyone's doing this. It's finally coming to the Apple Watch. It's now on the Apple Watch Ultra and it'll come as well to the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and so on. Of course, if you want to charge past 80%, you can, but you have to manually enable it. So uh, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna charge here my Apple Watch, as you can see, same thing, same little animation, cut here at 80%, perfect. And if you wanna go past 80% for some reason, which I don't recommend, uh, and Apple doesn't recommend either, right? If we scroll down a bit, you see here, tap the charger ring to charge beyond the limit so then you can charge the ring and then it'll go past but you have to manually uh tap on it because as i said by default it'll charge only to 80 percent and this will become the new standard on apple proving once and for all and if you weren't convinced yet now it's the proof that's it and i've been saying this for many many months and years now and it's finally here the proof okay so that's it Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.